I didn't sign up for dance class, but every time I ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I am forced to dance. Yes, yes. Yeah, you rope us into it. You rope us into it. I just, I'm not a big dancer. Good early, early morning here from Disney's Riviera Resort. Today we are dining at Topolino's for breakfast. Now this is something we've wanted to do for a very, very long time, so we're finally happy to be here. Are you excited, Isabel? I didn't know this was character dining until just a couple minutes ago. This is gonna be a blast, let's head inside. So they serve more than just breakfast here at Topolino's, correct? Yes. But the breakfast is the good one. Uh, very pretty dishes that makes sense. It's like art themed. Obviously, you could tell, right? Taking a brief look at the menu right here, it is a prefixed price menu, which is $45 for adults and $29 for kids. I will say again, this is character dining, which is standard here at Disney. And honestly, that's probably more on the cheaper end because some of it, I think Chef McKee's is upwards to like $70 now, correct? I think the breakfasts are $45. The character breakfasts are $45. Which I think is probably a much better deal, and I like breakfast food anyway. <laughs> I am Lorenzo, un professore at the Riviera School of the Arts. My students, they oh, study the so from. hard. This morning, they rest. I think maybe they're, they're coming from there. Feed your souls. <laughs> Bellissimo! For sculptor in residence, Signore Donald Duck. They've got like really long entrances, like WWE WrestleMania style entrances. Hello, how's it going? Out of all of these pastries, which one is your favorite? That one? Wow. Okay, because we love chocolate chips as well. And honestly, I don't know. What about the sides? The sides over here. You like yeah. the, are, are these di are these dips? I think oh, these are that one. During the intro, we mentioned that it's an early morning. I don't think we were prepared of how early this was going to be. Uh oh. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Now, Daisy, have you been focusing on ballet mainly, or have you been working between different styles of dance, multiple styles? Are you oh, good at? She's doing the conga. She's okay. So clearly, you're doing the conga. But let me say, we are not big fans of the song conga on um, Cosmic Rewind, the ride over at Epcot, and we keep getting it. We keep getting it. There's absolutely like, if you could have a word with them, I know you love conga, but yeah, we're just not personally the biggest fans of that one. And then I have one more thing too. One one quick thing. Um, I didn't sign up for dance class, but every time I ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I am forced to dance. Yes, yeah, you rope us into it. You rope us into it. I just, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not a big dancer and I just want, but I appreciate you trying. I appreciate you trying and you teach, you teach millions of people to dance. Every a single, you are a wonderful teacher and doing a great job. Um, could we possibly do a photo? Let me do a photo with this the, the phone real quick. One sec. Have a, have, a, have a good day. Make sure you get your stretches in before you dance. Yes, of course. We have switched seats. Um, we have seen the clear pattern that uh, all the characters are coming down this route behind us. Isabel is nowhere near prepared for any of these characters coming by. So I just decided, okay, let's switch so that I could actually do the interactions for the most part. We only have two characters left. There's only four characters here, which is Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. I don't think Goofy and or Pluto are gonna be here. Um, I just don't know how they would hold the, the paintbrushes. I don't know if, if Ryan has captured the true fear struck in my eyes each time one of them has snuck up behind me and I realize that they're standing right behind me. Listen, I'm getting a lot better with characters. I'm, I, this 2023 has been my, my year of character growth, okay? And not, I don't mean character growth as in me. I mean character growth as in me getting more comfortable with characters. But this is pushing me to my limit. They're, this restaurant is half empty. These characters are coming fast and they're sneaking up behind me. It's, it's doing a lot to me. During all of the chaos that was these character meet and greets, we did get the pastry thing in here, um, which comes with a very beautiful paintbrush knife and a bunch of pastries and then some like paint to use, but the paint is, the lighting is not good from this angle. Um, 
the part of the paint are these basically these toppings, which we have chocolate, we have I think this is butter, and then we have like a compote type thing over here as well, which looks like ketchup in this lighting for some reason, but that's not ketchup. We did have one brief character action that we had planned for vertical content, which I'm sure you'll be seeing in this video. Um, and that was to ask out of all of the things that we have on the table, what was the favorite of Mickey Mouse? Um, just so we could point, and you'll, this is this is the short form right here. We just got done with what was probably the worst dining experience we've ever had. There was like literally mice touching our food. This is- Wow. He loved the chocolate chip, obviously. Um, so this is the only one I'm probably gonna eat. I got, I got more carbs because last night I was a big dum dum and had eggs for dinner. <laughs> so I can't be doing that today for breakfast at 7 a.m. Mickey also recommended that I use chocolate on the chocolate muffin. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. <laughs> I should have said that. I don't think I don't think he gets that a lot. That's also kind of creepy. I wouldn't do that. This is just Nutella, straight up Nutella. That's exactly what it tastes like. Probably not the brand, but so good. Hazelnut spread, amazing. Our meals have arrived. I got the French toast with seasonal compote and a side of bacon. I'm very much looking forward to this. It's It looks definitely looks different from normal French toast, but that makes sense because this is a piece of art and that's what it's supposed to be. Isabel got the two eggs uh, I don't know officially what the name is on the menu. Um, she got them scrambled with some wonderful looking, what, do you, what kind of potatoes are these, Isabel? I don't know. F <laughs> fingerling potatoes, they no, kind of smashed? Not, not no? Potatoes. Okay, and she got bacon as well. These are very standard breakfast choices, so I do apologize. We didn't get anything way out there, but. Are you ready to meet Donald? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fairly oh. ready. He's taking, he's giving the children behind us priority over us. Can you believe? <laughs> wow. Makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I have a question for you. I've seen so, so many ducks at Disney recently. Is this, are you, have you been inviting them? I just didn't, it just seems like there's so many fellow ducks here. Like it's like a convention or like you have like a Las Vegas residency or something like that. I just like, and obviously you're the most famous duck of them all. So like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're the Jimmy Buffett and all these parrot heads are just here because they want to find you and they want to say, I want to get a glimpse of the world famous duck. I saw, I was at Epcot yesterday and they were all over. They were begging for food, but you seem to be resistant, uh, which is good. Not, oh, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Not so much, yeah. I know, it's very tempting, especially the pastries. Out of, out of all of either of these, you normally, you just go with the pastries right away. Well, that's probably not good for diets for birds, but I mean, as long as you're getting at least a little bit of protein somewhere, that's all that matters. I don't think they have any worms within this menu, but that would, I don't know, that's, it's, I, I hope they don't at least, yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, could we get a photo real quick? Okay. This is probably the weirdest French toast I've ever had. It's like really like a weird texture in the middle. Like banana bread. Yeah, it literally looks like banana bread. If you look on the inside of that, I don't know. This must be the Italian style because there's a thick outer shell and then the inside is like... Coffee? Yeah. Well, okay. maybe, the, maybe it's out on the menu, French toast creme brulee. brulee. Because that would make sense with the top of this. I recently figured out what creme brulee was. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't know if I like it, but... Do you need to switch? We don't have to switch. If you'd be interested in trying... We'll, we could try each other's food. As long as I get 90% of the bacon, that's all that matters. It's the same texture as banana bread, honestly. Um, it's not bad. I don't love the compote. Or this is a compote. I don't know. I don't love the flavoring on it, I don't think. But besides that, I don't mind the texture at all. It's just, I don't like the flavoring on it that much. How was your projects this morning? Clearly you were working on some wonderful pieces. Now, are you, are you recycling old stuff? Because it looks like, is it, this is, oh, you're, oh. You, are you a, you're a poet or a writer? Okay, that is a different form of art that I was not fully expecting. But that makes perfect sense. And you have your pen, you have your notebook. I hope you've been you've been very very busy. I, I you I'm assuming you write in English rather than Italian. I don't speak Italian. 
Um, but it would make sense. Yeah, it's, yes, yeah, there we go. It's that's that is in English. Correct. I can read. I am I am a reader. I do apologize. I was gonna wear a shirt that also had you on it, but unfortunately this one just has Mickey. I'm so sorry. It seems like this is simply a case of I think I ordered the wrong thing. Um, so maybe avoid the French toast because it's nothing like French toast. It doesn't it's like just, it's just citrusy. It's just citrusy. That's all. It's citrusy. It's citrus flavor. I just I don't taste the citrus. I just think it's just complete. It's not like it's not within the definition of French toast for me. Like it's just like hard top crusted banana bread. That uh, not for me. Not for me. Mine is really good, and I feel like it's like a decent amount of food. So. I'm happy. We can just split both of our dishes. So, because I was debating between the French toast and this. So, uh, this is really good. These potatoes are amazing. I feel like the eggs are better than most Disney eggs, honestly. I don't know if, it, if they're actually any different or if it's just psychological. We really enjoyed it. I will say the French, the French toast creme brulee was way different than we expected it to be, which I just, I don't know. I'm just not, I don't have as... I don't know, elegant of a palate as most people would. Do you prefer this location or on Disney Cruise Line they have a restaurant called Animator's Palette and you do you are you are there in your sorcerer outfit and I just do you do you prefer there or here more? Which one do you think? I know you're they're probably equal. You're, yeah, yeah, I would say it's probably it's probably equal. But that was that was one of my favorite restaurants growing up and I want to say that this is somewhat reimagining that, but in a Italian flair. I like this place a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> One thing I would like to note, uh, on our receipt, as you could tell, it's about $90 for two people, but it says bread pudding under where I order the French toast. So maybe it would be better if they would say that on the menu and I would know I'd be ordering bread pudding with a very hard, crispy top to it. Yeah. Looks like they left us some comment cards. What are we gonna say about our experience? Just kidding. These are what are these? The the signature cards, the autograph cards, and uh, he gave me he gave me a bunch because our waiter is super cool. If you were wondering what this is, this is a signature card. They've been doing this at a lot of sit-down dining locations over the past few years, simply to like cut down on time for like signatures plus interaction plus photo, all that type of stuff. I know, especially during COVID, they were doing this like exclusively. We did Chef Mickey's, and that was the first time we got one of them. We we're like, oh. Interesting, different. We don't really need the signatures, but honestly, I know it saves some time here in the restaurant, but the characters have to be staying up all night to sign all of these, which we were given four of them with only two of us. I just, I feel like it's a lot of extra effort. Maybe it's not their actual signature. I don't know. I hope not. That would be, that would be bad. Food for the most part was really good. At least Isabel's dish. Um, I don't know if we're going to be eating so much more of this. I don't know. I'm just like, I had another bite and I'm just not really... I'm not really feeling it, um, and I know it's like prefix, and I could probably, if I like pull a, give me another dish, they could give me something else, but I just don't, I don't want to. I'll be completely transparent, this is on us, we ordered it, we read the description, we ordered it, so we're not going to do that, and that's okay. Um, it does come with fruit, maybe I'll eat the fruit. As soon as we're done here, I want to take you guys out on the balcony to show you all the amazing views, because it's so overexposed right now that you can't see outside but this is an amazing amazing viewpoint with so many things to see so we're gonna cut to going outside <laughs> oh that's foggy uh oh look at those beautiful views <laughs> oh, fog. we've made it out onto the balcony here at Riviera um, that is part of the Topolinos and this comes with like being able to have this access comes with the dining experience. Most people, I think, after they're done eating or while they're waiting for food, they would come out here, but characters are inside. Probably one of the best views here on Disney property, and honestly, you could see more here than you can see over at Contemporary when you're on the roof there for, um, what is it, California Grill. The Riviera is located here just up against Caribbean Beach Resort, which is what you're gonna see all down here. Um, if you keep going, it's got a beautiful view of the Skyliner. Um, I did bring my longer lens, not the longest lens, but if you look in the background, what else do you see? Star Wars land over here. Oh, it's 
focusing issues. Star Wars land right here, and we have the Tower of Terror, which if you line up per perfectly with the uh, Caribbean beach rooms, it, it's supposed to, the Imagineers did it so it lines up and it's supposed to blend in. That's a joke, very niche joke, never mind. That is Everest all the way over there. And then Swan and Dolphin are a little more obvious over here. Let's actually get a little bit of a better vantage point. So right there is the Swan and Dolphin Resort, which is part of the Crescent Lake area on the backside of Epcot, which we are kind of on the backside of Epcot as well. You could see the Italian pavilion peeking over, as well as Imagination right behind that crane. And then if you see over here, that blue building is the show building for Soren. It's the, I believe the additional show building they built on top of the existing one. And you can see the land over there as well. One thing that I do really like about the design of Topolinos here is that it is on top of the already roof here. And they had did that intentionally so that your views can be of all of this stuff. And you see over because this whole resort is shaped like a big U. And if you're on the inside of the U, you're literally blocked out of almost everything over here. So the fact that you uh, it is slightly higher than everything else, you can see all these amazing views. And that was very smart on Disney. Honestly, the design of this resort is absolutely beautiful. We've been here previously. If you want to check out that vlog, we were trying out the quick service all the way on the very first floor of this resort. We'll have it linked in the corner right now. Um, and we had some other treats and stuff like that on that trip as well. Okay. You think this audio is copywritten? Really? I don't know if it is. Oh, 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 look at Donald getting it. <laughs> 